हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज दिस इज योर टुडे आई एम हियर विद अ न्यू पोएम द नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज अ लेजेंड ऑफ द नॉर्थ लैंड एंड इट इज रिटन बाय द फॉग कैरी सो एक्चुअली द पोएम द लेजेंड ऑफ द नॉर्थ लैंड इज अ फिलोसॉफिकल पोएम ओके सो इट टीचेस अस नॉट टू बी सेल्फिश एक्चुअली दिस पोएम इज मेड फॉर द किड्स एंड द चिल्ड्रन so the poem is based in northland this is very cold place where once a uh, saint peter came to door a little woman okay when she was baking a cake and asked her a cake but she did not even give him a small one saint peter became angry and he calls Her and turned into a wood pig. Okay, so that is the basic idea of the poem. Is that clear? Uh, okay, students. And uh, now we'll start the poem. Okay, so as uh, such, so the poem uh, name of the poem is a legend of the Nordland. So the writer he writes, uh, she writes, away, away in the Nordland, where the hours of the day are few. The nights are so long as winter, winter that they cannot sleep their true. Where they harness the swift reindeer to the sledge when it snows, and the children look like bears cub in their funny furry clothes. Okay, so here the poet introduces that place from which our story is derived, uh, which is Northland. Okay, so all. Setting of this uh, poem is in Northland, where the days are short and nights are long in winter. It is cold in that season that people cannot sleep comfortably that whole the whole night. Okay, and people often used to wake up as the nights are very long. They are also not able to sleep the entire night. When the snow falls, the people like to to go sledging, be tying reindeers to sledge to their sledge to pull them. Because of the cold, children wear heavy hoolers and furry clothes that cover them up fully and make them look like a bear cub. Is that clear? So this is about stanza one and two. Now in stanza three, the poet he uh, he write. They tell them a curious story. I don't believe this is true, and yet you may learn a lesson if I tell a tale to you. Once, when a good Saint Peter lived in a wall below and walked about it preaching, just as he did, you know. Now, in this stanza, what the poet is okay, she wanted to express that parents in the Northland. Tell the story, the story to children. Although the poet does not uh, think that a story is true, it should be told uh, because it teaches the children an important lesson. Then the poet begins to tell the story. The story is about the Saint Peter as he traveled around the wall, preaching the word of the God. Is that clear? Stanza five and six. He came to the door of the cottage in traveling round the earth, where a little woman was making cake and baking them on the hearth, and being faint with fasting, for the day was almost done. He asked her from her store of cakes to give him a single one. So now it is there. The Saint Peter came to the woman's house in Northland just when she was baking a cake in her firehouse fireplace for herself. Saint Peter's body was pale and very tired at the end of a long day during which he had been fasting to sustain himself. He asked the woman to give him only one of the many cakes that she was baking. Okay. Now stanza seven and eight. So she made a very little cake, but as it baking lay, <coughs> she looked at it and thought it seemed too large to give away. Therefore she made another, and she still a smaller one.
but it looked when she turned it over as large as the first had done okay so uh, here the woman baked very small cake but before she could give it to saint peter she started thinking that it was too big to just to given away uh, given away like that so the woman went on to make an even smaller cake but this looked as big as the first one to her okay now and also answer then she took a tiny scrap of dough and rolled and rolled it flat and baked it thin as a wafer as she could not part with that for she said my cakes that seem too small when i eat up them myself are yet too large to give away so she put them on shelf okay so the woman in a three attempt to make a cake so so small that she would not mind giving it away she took an extremely small lump of dough and when she rolled out the dough her cake was as flat and as thin as a wafer okay so however she could not even bear it to keep the small cake away the woman said that cake that seems small when she herself ate them were all too big to be donated for free as a result she ended up keeping all the cakes on the sale not giving any to saint peter okay then a good saint peter grew angry and he was hungry and faint and surely such a woman was enough to provoke a saint and he said you are far too selfish to deal in a human form and to have both food and shelter and far to keep you warm now the saint peter became very angry okay because he want he was hungry and weak and needed some food it is not easy to anger a saint and what a selfish woman had been able to do so so saint peter put a curse on the selfish woman telling her she did not deserve to have such comfort of human life like a warm fire a house to live in a, and good food to eat whenever she wanted okay now saint peter cursed the woman now in an stanza Now you shall build as a board do, and shall you get your scanty food by boring and boring and boring all the day in the yard. Dry food. Then you see, then up she went through the chimney, never speaking a word. And out of the top, threw a wood picker, and she was unsensed to a board. Okay. So now in this stanza, Saint Peter calls the woman. that she would have to build her own nest like a bird do and must dig holes into hard dry wood to get a food to feed herself okay the woman went up the chimney of her of her house being speechless and had turned into a wood picker okay In the last stanza she had a scarlet cap on her head and that was left the same but all the rest of her clothes was burnt Uh, black as a coal in the flame and even the quant school boy has seen her in the hood where she lives in the trees till this very day boring and boring for her in the last stanza as the woman had been wearing a red cap in human form as would be her her head was still the same set of red in color however all the clothes she had been wearing seems to have been burned and had become black and that is what the color of her speaker's body was a boy says that every school boy living in a village had seen this with speaker and she still digs into a bark of the trees looking for a worm and insect to feed on okay so this is the end of the poem